I think we will get an apfelstrudel or something like this in the kingdom. And uh, before and after box we will have it. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is me a pleasure and an honor today to be here in uh, Africa, in your nice country of Churangrati. Uh, my dear Churangratlas, <laughs> I start my lesson now. Let me give you the kindest regards of our Minister President of this Stoiber, <laughs> of our Verkehrsminister, Wirtschaftsminister Dr. Wieshoi, <laughs> and last but not least of uh, Dr. Kaiser Franz Beckenbauer <laughs> uh, from uh, Wildbath uh, Kreut. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Hans Seidel Stiftung <coughs> kindly asked me to teach you the basics, the basics of the most modern form of government <laughs> democracy. <laughs> democracy, ladies and gentlemen. Democracy, and this might uh, interest you, especially here in Africa. Democracy, uh, what is it? <laughs> Democracy, ladies and gentlemen, has an old and very long tradition in Bavaria. <laughs> the roots go back, the roots go back far, far back. Uh, to a man uh, called, uh, I've read him on the blackboard, called Plato. Plato. <laughs> Plato. <laughs> I hope uh, that you can already read. Uh, uh, Plato, ladies and gentlemen, was an old Greek from Greece. <laughs> The next one was an old Roman called Cicero. I have written him on the blackboard. Cicero, correctly pronounced uh, Cicero. We don't say Cicero. Cicero. Uh, he enriched the idea of democracy. But, ladies and gentlemen, pay attention now, because immediately, rapidly, is the next one. The third one was our political genius. From Bavaria, Dr. Müller. <laughs> or as we call him in Bavaria, the Ochsensepp. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, himself. He gave us the idea of democracy, a new power and a new vitality by giving simple uh, questions, uh, answers to very simple questions. <laughs> a typical Oxenzep question, for example, was what do Democrats actually want? <laughs> Democrats, uh, ladies and gentlemen, always want a majority. <laughs> in Bavaria, absolute majority. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, how do you get a majority? <laughs> Very important now for you. You need always a people. We need a people or a population. Who, who wants that you are the majority. And therefore, you need your own radio station, as we have in Bavaria, for example, the Parish Rundfunk. <laughs> you need your own newspaper, as we have in Bavaria, for example, the Mies Bacher Merkur. 
to tell the majority what the majority wants. And uh, ladies and gentlemen and majority, how, uh, uh, how to arrange it? Ladies and gentlemen, this is not so easy. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and another fundamental, fundamental oxygen say principle. <laughs> it sounds the upper always beats the under. <laughs> the over sticht the under, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, never be the party of the either or, of the entweder order. <laughs> Always be the party of the S of L S of the Sobol al South. Be the party of the government as well as the opposition. Be the party of the of the millionaires, of the money makers, as well as the social receivers, the underdogs, the people under the bridge. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, very important too. The old Romans, the old Greeks in their times, they sacrificed to honor the gods in heaven. They sacrificed jewelry, wine, beer, gold, silver, to get in harmony with the gods in heaven. The modern Bavarian citizen today sacrifices to his uh, representant, to his politician, Long trips and journeys in private jets. <laughs> big parties in big hotel suites. If he only sees his represented drink fry beer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fry beer, I write it on the blackboard. <laughs> fry beer. The idea of fry beer, ladies and gentlemen, in, in Bavaria is deeply religious. <laughs> The more you drink, the earlier the toast of democracy becomes visible. <laughs> ladies, ladies in Germany, our, our, our Verkehrsminister, Dr. Wieshoi, he got the Bayerische Verdienstorden when he achieved 1.99 promille. <laughs> Gentlemen, only a politician with a very good lever and a very good constitution can drink so much for his nation. He needs a good lever and a good constitution. In Bavaria, we say, Bayerische Verfassung. of my lesson, ladies and gentlemen, you might ask, now does Bavarian democracy really cover all aspects of public life and proudly I say, yes, it does. <laughs> why, ladies and gentlemen, why? Because further culturally and spiritually developed Democrats in Bavaria have found a home. A home in the, I write it on the blackboard, in the ADAC. <laughs> In the A D A C. <laughs> the A D A C, ladies and gentlemen, is a garage <laughs> for a pluralistic society in Bavaria. And now you see the circle of democracy's clothing from Plato to A D A C, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and at the end. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you, I want to say to you, because it is a black day for Africa, a day for the blacks in Africa, in the name of our minister president, for you here in this continent, in Africa, I wish you really, for your future, happy democracy. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.